Gray's Rooftop Smokes is back. We can smoke today. I'm thinking we're going to go for the 1926 Padrones. Yes, I know. I've been doing a lot of reviews of the Padrones. Um, we're going to try the number six natural. This baby right here. 50 gauge, 4.8 inch long cigar. I have to move the Pelicoso there. There we go. This baby here. The 1926 series. Let me cut it and light it. And see you on the roof. Craze Rooftop Smokes. We'll be back. Rooftop Smokes is back. Um, again, as I said, smoking the 1926 uh, anniversary series of the Padron. Oh, Naturel. 50 gauge, 4.8 inch long, number six. Um, v cut, a, had a V cut there. The smoke generation's fantastic. Just to give you a, a look of the cap there. And then the construction of the cigar as well. Um, you know, it's... You can see a lot of veins there, but really it's pretty smooth. Um, again... With most of these cigars, you do get a bit of a leather feel, but this one, not so much. It's pretty sleek. Um, the burn on it's fantastic so far. Um, got a lot of spice to it. Again, Padron, there you go. Smoke Generation, as I said before, if I didn't, is fantastic. Mm. Sorry, some bits out of the, the cut there. But again, look at that. Beautiful draw. Yeah, strong pepper, strong spice, everything nice. Let me get more into this and I'll be right back. The Padron 1926 series, number six, Au Naturel. Rooftop Smokes, we'll be back. As I'm getting into more of the, the first third of this, um, again, a really smooth drawing cigar. You know, Again, the, the peppery, the spices there, it's it's a nice, enjoyable cigar. Um, these will run you about $13 a stick, a box of 24, roughly $300. I'm pairing it with my, again, favorite beer, OB Premier, which is a Pilsner. Um, goes quite nice with this as well. Um, again, the burn looking fantastic. The construction of the cigar is fantastic. Um, they outdid themselves on this one. Box press, for those of you who like or dislike, it is a box press cigar. I prefer them because it makes a nice V cut. Look at that baby right there. Can't get any better than that. And it does improve the taste, I, in my opinion, of the cigar, as well as the draw. Let me show you. Can't get any better than that, folks. Um, rooftop smokes. Hey, hermanos, get okay. Enjoy the leaf. I'll be back once I get near the band. Let's see how this transpires. But so far, so good, guys and gals out there. Um, yeah, fairly consistent for all the Padron cigars of this series um, of the Au Naturel. Nothing too surprising with it. Um, it does linger, uh, the pepperiness and the spice. Um, uh, and the palate after you uh, take take a take a puff or two, which I like, very enjoyable so far. So let me get back to you a little bit later. Rooftop smokes. We'll be back. Welcome back to Rooftop Smokes. Getting close to the band now, near the halfway point. Um, flavors are very consistent throughout. The same spice and pepperiness. Um, yeah hasn't mellowed out at all. Um, I'd say this is mild to medium cigar. Excellent choice. Um, would I buy a box? I think I would. Uh, this series, 
of the number six definitely will. Um, highly recommend these. Very enjoyable so far. Let me get down closer to the band. It's not looking like it's going to come out through the cap. Might have to take it out through the ash, unfortunately. So I'm trying to burn my fingers. I'll be back. Yeah, literally finger burn apart, folks. My subscribers, um, if you want to meet up for a cigar, if you're in the Seoul area, send me an email at rooftopsmokes at gmail.com. Hermanos, see you in a bit. Be right back. Welcome back to Gray's Rooftop Smokes. The band came off flawlessly. I had to take it through the uh, ash point. No, I did not burn my fingers. For those who, those out there who are wondering, um, yeah, again, flawlessly came off. No tears whatsoever. No major glue residue. Um, flavors, as I said before, consistent throughout. The burn has been consistent. The construction is just fantastic on this number six natural, the 1926 series of the Padron anniversary. Um, you get what you pay for. This is a well-constructed, uh, nice tasting cigar for $13 a stick, over $300 for a 24 uh, in a box. Highly recommend these. I think I'll add this to my collection maybe once a year really enjoyable as I said before the flavors a lot of pepper a lot of spice and that's been consistent throughout um, not a lot of changes it's been a fantastic smoke you get what you pay for here no surprises um, it's great until the end and I predict it will remain the same um, I, yeah a lot of woodiness to it but other than that you know my palate's not that well defined but I'm not getting anything. There is a bit of zing and zang to it, which I like. Subtle zing and zang um, in the aftertaste, which I appreciate with the Padron cigars. Um, I do prefer this over um, some of the 1964 that I've smoked. And, you know, like I said, this is the 1926 series. So there you go, folks. Another cigar review. Again, mi hermanos, get okay. Um, subscribe, like, send me an email. Let's get together and smoke. We, we smoke Saturdays and Sundays in Seoul. So, you know, send me an email. Let's get together. Until next time, see you on the roof. Hasta mañana. Rooftop Smokes, out for tonight. Vial con Dios.